Today on Spuds and Scones, we're making game day chili with a secret ingredient that sets this over the top. So let's get started. Now the first step in making our chili is chopping up our veggies. So we've got one small yellow onion here that we've diced up and two bell peppers. I just happen to have orange and red bell pepper on hand, but any color will do. We're gonna get these nice and diced up and we're going to set these aside here while we get going on our ground beef for our chili. In goes our one pound of ground beef. We've got a 90-10 mixture here. That's 90% lean and 10% fat. We're just gonna break that down here with our spatula until it's nice and cooked and browned off. That's looking great. Okay, our veggies are all chopped, so we're gonna add a few tablespoons of olive oil to our stock pot. Gonna let that get nice and hot, and how you know that it's hot, and it'll be nice and shiny. So put your hand over it, not too close, <laughs> and you'll see that it's nice and hot. And now we're adding our veggies over this medium heat. Now our onions and peppers have hit the pan. We're gonna give them a stir and add a teaspoon of kosher salt. While our veggies are sweating, it's gonna take about five to seven minutes. You're gonna see the onions get translucent and you're gonna get a bit of color on your peppers here. Now this is our game day chili because it is game day here in our kitchen. As you can see who I am rooting for. <laughs> we are not in this Packard state, but we were from the Packard state. So Packard fans, as you know, travel everywhere around the country and we are big Packard fans at heart. So game day chili. It's been in our house for years. My husband and I have been together for 13 plus years, and I've been making this for about 10 of them. So <laughs> I can say this is a very trusted recipe, huge crowd pleaser, and I hope you guys will like it too. Next up in our chili is a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. It's gonna add a lot of heartiness and body. To that, we're going to add a can of white beans or great northern beans and a can of dark red kidney beans. I'm gonna give that a nice stir. Look how hearty that is. One thing I love about chili. <laughs> All right, next up is a seven ounce can of green chilies. That is one of my favorites. I could eat green chilies out of a jar. <laughs> and now for the best part of the chili is we're gonna spice it up. All right, a third cup to a half cup of chili powder here. We're gonna add two teaspoons of cumin two teaspoons of paprika, smoked or regular, and two teaspoons of garlic powder. I'm gonna give that a stir, and we're gonna add in our one pound of ground beef. Perfect. Now it's all coming together. Now our chili mixture is looking great, and it looks like it's entering the third quarter. Ha ha. Our game day chili is smelling amazing. We're just gonna add a couple more things to our chili. Gonna add a few tablespoons, three tablespoons of tomato paste. Now the secret ingredient to our chili here is one 12 ounce can of light beer here. It adds an effervescence, just a very different taste that if it's without it, you'll know it, but with it, it is undeniably delicious. So, just kidding. <laughs> and it goes. Now the alcohol in the beer is going to cook out, but if you prefer not to have beer in your chili, just use the same amount of vegetable stock or beef stock, that would work great. We're gonna let this cook over medium heat until nice and thick, that'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. I have it on medium heat right now, but if you wanna just simmer on low heat, it'll take a little bit longer. This chili is looking great. I'm gonna put this into a bowl because we have to give it a taste. Right now to dress up our game day chili here, we've got some wonderful fixings. For me, I love shredded cheddar, green chilies, can't get enough of those, and some yellow corn tortilla chips. If you like spice, add some fresh jalapeno peppers or some pickled jalapeno, hot sauce, any of that will be wonderful, but I'm gonna stick to these three. Our chili is all dressed up in green and gold here, of course, for the Packers. <laughs> I actually did not plan that, but it worked out great. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Go in for the touchdown and we will take a taste. Mm. Now this chili is deliciously spiced. It's got your beans, your beef, super hearty. It's perfect for game day, and I can't wait for you to try it. If you liked this recipe, be sure to click up here for another great video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another recipe, and go Pat, go.